Fury, CEO of Republic slaps in Harry and Meg's face for not ditching HRH titles that belong to Britain. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry keeping their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles reflects badly on the royal family according to the CEO of Republic. Graham Smith told Express.co.uk that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's titles belong to the UK and should be used to pursue duties for the good of the country. Republic is an organisation that campaigns for Queen Elizabeth II to be replaced by a democratic, elected head of state and monarchy to be abolished. M. Smith said, it does look like they are using their royal status to bolster their private careers. He added, I do think they are ultimately public titles, they belong to the country. They were given in order to pursue royal duties in theory for the good of the country and they are not doing that now. They have got a halfway house where they have one foot in the royal household but also pursuing their own private interests. I do think they ought to have made a clean break of it when they stepped away and just ditched the titles. But they have not and I don't suppose it matters that much but it does not reflect well on them or the family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down as senior members of the royal family in March 2020. A few months later, the couple moved to Los Angeles to set up life as private citizens in the United States. However, the couple were allowed to retain their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. Although the couple has not cut ties with the royal family, and Harry is still in line for the throne, they no longer use their royal titles because of an agreement with Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth seemed to have understood that Harry and Meghan wanted to make their own money after their departure. However, royals are not supposed to make money off their titles and statuses, so she reportedly placed restrictions on them to be sure they could not use their ties to the monarchy to grow their bank account. The Queen deliberated for several weeks, then ruled that Harry and Meghan could not use Sussex Royal as the brand name to market their merchandise and various activities in North America, author Robert Lacey wrote in the upcoming book Battle of Brothers. It was reliably reported that Her Majesty remained well disposed towards her grandson and granddaughter-in-law. Lacey wrote, she wished them well in their new life in Canada, and her eighth great-grandchild as well, of course. But it was also said by those in the know that the couple's erratic and impulsive behaviour for the past year had not inclined Queen Elizabeth II to entrust the Sussexes with the use of the word royal any time soon. Prince Harry reportedly signed up to Oprah just 24 hours after being stripped of his military titles in the final agreement for Mexit. It's emerged Harry, who served in Afghanistan, agreed to do the bombshell interview imminently after he was told he would lose his military titles on February 12 this year as part of the Mexit deal. The titles removed were Captain General Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Honington in Suffolk and Commodore in Chief Small Ships and Diving, Royal Naval Command. Prince Charles has widely publicized plans to slim down the monarchy when he takes the throne from Queen Elizabeth II. In June, royal commentator Natalie Oliveri told Nine Honey that Prince Charles plans not to grant Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son Archie a royal family title when he becomes king. Archie is currently seventh in line to the throne. Ms. Oliveri said, in 2012 the Queen actually changed it which entitled all the Cambridge children to be known as HRH rather than just George so they are also included in this at the moment. What it would do is that it would remove Archie's entitlement to be a prince. Under the current rules, Archie is entitled to become a prince when Charles becomes king. But Prince Charles is reportedly planning to change that. It is all part of his plan to slim down the monarchy.